I am the sound designer and sound recordist. What I would like out of this project is basically a fantastic piece which I can put onto my portfolio, uh, help to build up my showreel. Um, so when I graduate, I can take it to further study uh, as an example of what I can do and alternatively, um, potentially for employers, whether they be freelance or um, you know, employers working in a post-production house, um, just to kind of say, hey, here's, here's my skills, um, here's what I have to offer, uh, here's my back catalogue of work as well. Um, and just use that as kind of a uh, stepping stone to just building up um, what I can show people. So the current progress of the project, it's, it's really kicked into gear. Um, I've already got a foundation recording from the narrator. Um, he's a fantastic voice actor called Rob Paul and an actor as well. Um, I've only ever worked with him um, just doing uh, VO. Um, he's sent through some brilliant first recordings um, for the Life of Dr. Zeus and it's Ryan and it's really really helped to shape it and give a fantastic pace um, to the project. Um, so what I'm focusing on now is trying to come up with a bit more the I guess kind of the musical element and the kind of the sound design um, in terms of how I'm going to attach sounds to certain images, how they're going to match the pace, um, putting voices for the characters um, Cat and Hat, Thing 1 and 2, the Lorax, Sam and I. Um, and it's just kind of that process really, just, just thinking about how I'm going to build up these characters and build extra layers into the film and how it's going, how it's going to sync in and work um, with the voiceover. I thought it was a really unique uh, original project um, as it had originated from uh, using some pictures and archive material and to the voice of uh, a narrator. Um, it was really a blank canvas for sound. There was no you know, sense of dialogue or sound effects or foley uh, that we needed to be taken into account for initially, um, which really kind of has given me the opportunity to just have a full creative scope in how I'm going to approach that. Um, and I thought being for Dr. Zeus, maybe it's slightly aimed at kids. It was also a different audience to think about and a different, different soundscape. Um, me to consider and work out how I was, was going to use to tell the story.